Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah is here from The Automator. Today, we got a really fun topic. We're blending auto hotkey and also using it with ChatGPT and OpenAI. Uh, in this example, we're gonna show you and also give you a link to get the R code for using the OpenAI's API calls. So this is simply, you know, browser call isn't technically an API call, but this is using the web service API call. And there's some really important things to realize about it. So make sure you stick around and watch the whole thing because there's some gotchas at the end that we want to make sure you understand. Yeah, that's right. And so let me show you real quick what I've got here. So if we go ahead and type, give me five words here, we should get um, an output from chat GPT with the with this list of parameters and i think this is something that we might want to mention a little bit these parameters here are not the same as when you are in chat ai.com so you might get some answers from chat gpt that are not the same that you would get if you are on the web version of it so you will have to play a little bit with those guys. On their website, um, on the documentation, they really mentioned what temperature means, uh, what top P it is, what was what is that, and the end. So I, I'm just gonna give you a very high level overview about them. The maximum tokens has to do with the length of the answer and what you give it. And you have to be very careful with that one because um as this is leveraging your token your your chat gpt token you might get charged if you use too many tokens right so uh, i would rather have it in lower values if you don't, don't want to get charged too much um but in certain situations if you want the thing to answer with 200 words you might need to bump up your maximum tokens here and let's back up a step here just slightly. So A, you need to have your token, you need to create an account, you know, and give it a credit card or something because there are costs, costs involved, unlike if right. you just use a browser with account. The next one is once you've given it your token, um, I'm sorry, your, well, it is your API token. Uh, yeah. When you submit stuff, and that's where his is saying, there's both the input and the output count against you. Yes. And what's really crazy is the formula for calculating tokens it's not like every certain characters. It's it's no. common. Now, it's a very, yeah. The good yeah. news is it's actually so cheap right now, at least. Like you, you know, it's it's you don't really have to worry too much. But I I still agree with, with what Jose is saying. So you don't want to put it at ten thousand and then suddenly realize yeah. later, like, hey, wait a minute, you know, where did I get this bill? <laughs> but we've yet to have like any sort of a real bill. Like oh, that's, that's, for, that's for real. And they do have still a limit. There's 4,000 tokens per per request, I think it is. This is the limit. Oh. That's a kind of like a hard hard stop, even if you don't put a limit yourself. So um, the N is the number of answers that it might give back. Right now, this interface is just going to display one of them. So this is not really uh, an option that is going to be too much flexibility because I only have one output here. If I had several windows, I could give you different answers, right? The temperature, this is the one that is a little bit interesting because uh, uh, a 100% is kind of like giving it freedom to be creative. So it, it, it might come up with new stuff, but sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want it to be factual. So you would lower the temperature. I think that's how it works. And, um, uh, it is between zero and one. So it's 0 0.2 is a temperature of zero, of 20% and so on. The same happens here with the top P. So this is uh, is just a top percent. And from the answers that it generates, it's going to give you the top percentage. And usually 0 0.5 is okay. If you want kind of like the most accurate answer, it would be the top one, you know, the top 10. You can do the top 10% and so on so that you play with this to get the answers that you're hoping for i wouldn't use the stream here because that's where it starts typing out the stuff i have it set up i but the problem the, the the point is i i let it here so that you know it is available as an option in the api uh, library that we created so you take a look at it and you play a little bit with it and see what you can come up with yeah from memory 
um, there was something to me odd. I don't think they explained it very well, if I remember correctly, between the temperature and the what was it, the top P? Is that what you're saying? Um, yes. That yeah, you that yeah, <laughs> that you can set yeah, other. but not the other, right? Exactly. That's what they said. Like, do not change both at the same time. But it is not that you cannot send those two values. I send them both at the same time in the code, but they 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 seem to only understand one of both. So, yeah. In yeah. any case, I think the these. Other one, can we yeah. go back to the the GUI? Yes. So here and let's demonstrate it. So um, say please do this again. Please do this again. Now in ChatGPT in the browser, yeah. um, we would know what that would do, right? Right. <laughs> but here he just answered, sure. The, and the it's reason not why do it. <laughs> is unfortunately, and I have no idea why, and maybe at some point we can figure out how there's a better way to do it. But there's no history. There's no context. They're independent of each other, unfortunately. So each input you are sending right now is independent of the previous one. There is no context. Now, there is a way on, because if you take a look at the code, I'm sending a, um, a JSON string with some information there is a way to set up the context in the JSON string. The problem is that I cannot set it up because for you to set up the context, you need to get the previous um, ID of the conversation. And that's the part that I haven't really uh, created yet, but that is part of the, the issue. There is no context automatically. You actually have to code it yourself. That's what happens. So that's something that you have to take into consideration when you're using this, every prompt you're doing is uh, an individual prompt and ev everything that you need as a context should be in the input box right there. In the last really big gotcha, which which we're not 100% sure on, when you did one test, but we're not 100% sure, is theoretically to me, and I know from what I've read too, we're paying money for every call. It shouldn't have a problem when the servers are really bogged down and busy. You should be able to do this. but one time when we went to, where we were using the browser and then we're like oh it's not running oh we'll just use our api it also didn't work so we're not 100 percent sure if this will or won't work when chat gpt is bogged down and busy right it probably means that we are probably separated from the free version somehow but sometimes there might be a, a thing with chat gpt that all of it is down. So uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking that probably what we got was that they're yeah, growing like the crazy. Whole service was down for everybody. Is, right. But we yeah. are somehow separated from the free version. That probably um, we will not have some issues that a free person would have. Yeah. So let us know what you think. Are you using ChatGPT? Are you trying to use their API? I'll put a URL up with a lot of training on API calls, which we have a lot of um, webinars and videos, separate videos and stuff on them. Um, also, this tool we're giving you, it is in version two. So yes. we did just launch our, you know, painlessly transition to V2. This is a great time to start learning V2. So uh, in this code, it's in written in version two. So, you know, you might want to consider our course. I'll put a URL up here. It's on sale right now for half off. So you might want to check it out. But uh, if you learned something here, please like the video. It really helps us out. We get a lot more views. We're the largest auto hockey channel by far. I noticed the other day we have over 1,400 videos, and we push out two to three a week. And um, also, don't forget to like uh, and subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, you may miss out on some of our cool stuff that we're doing. Later, at some point, we'll you know go into this a bit more, make this a little more robust, and do some other stuff. But Chat GPT is just a crazy, amazing tool that is really um, making it so everything we do is so much simpler. There you go. That's right. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Bye.